Okay, hello everyone and thanks for watching another video with us. Today we are looking at two separate pieces of uh, restaurant or food service equipment. Um, the first here is a Hobart 84145 uh, Buffalo Chopper or food processor. So um, this is a two-part type machine and the first and main is you've got a spinning bowl with a chopping blade inside here and we'll open this up and that spins around and the bowl spins and uh, chops and dices your food and whatever. So then you close that, turn the handle, there's a safety mechanism in there so that if this is open, this machine will not engage. So you've got to make sure it's closed and that the handle's turned properly and obviously that that's a, uh, a safety issue. So the second part, and uh, this is an option, is um, like a, it says, I would call it a PTO drive. Um, and if you're not using this option, you simply uh, can pull this Pelican head attachment off and uh, you can set it aside so that it's not in your way um, if that's the case. But what you've got is, and indeed what they call a Pelican head attachment because this is shaped like a Pelican's beak, kind of. Um, this is a uh, slicing, grating, uh, food processing attachment and obviously your food items go in there and then you close that and um, as you can see right here you've got a slicing blade on this one so you would be a uh, slicing or chopping uh, whatever it is that you put in there so um, anywho both of those uh, items are going to run when the machine is on so again if you're not using this attachment you simply pull the whole thing off and then uh, you don't have to worry about it now um, when you're looking at these machines on eBay, keep in mind that most, if not all of them, don't come with the uh, Pelican head attachment included. Ours does, and for our price, which includes shipping um, to uh, any uh, commercial location in the lower 48 with a dock or a forklift, um, you know, you're, you're getting a hell of a deal with us. Um, we do have uh, an option for residential shipping, but that's going to cost um, the buyer a little bit more. So, anywho, um, that's it, and we'll go ahead and, and basically this is a pull start, uh, push stop uh, setup. So you can see there's your uh, slicing or grating uh, blade that's turning in there, and you can't really see inside here. Um, and we can't lift that obviously, but we can, uh, we can tell you that we're 100% confident that this, uh, this machine is, uh, in good operating condition. Now with any machine, um, we would definitely recommend that you give it a full cleaning when you get it. Um, you know, we basically knock the dust off these items, um, before we, uh, get them ready for sale and ship them out. So... Um, before you process any food, you're going to want to clean them um, and, and give them a full service as well. Uh, we don't know when the last time someone serviced this equipment. Um, we don't know when they were uh, lubricated, so on and so forth. So uh, make sure that you uh, take care of those two issues um, before you start using them. But as you can see, the bones are all there, high quality piece of equipment and uh, at a fraction of the cost. So. Um, now we're going to move on to equipment piece number two, and we're going to get this cord over here and get it ready to plug in. And the second piece of equipment is indeed a Hobart Edge 134054 uh, manual slicer. And uh, it's a manual slicer because you have to manually uh, you know, move that slicing platform. They do make automatic slicers. They tend to be quite a bit more money. Um, but, uh, for those of you who don't mind a manual slicer, Hobart makes some of the best equipment in the world. So you've got a, uh, uh, a, a knife gauge right here adjustment. And of course that works. Um, the, the, uh, platform slide, uh, moves back and forth without issue. A um, couple of things over here we want to mention. One is there's a cover that goes over this. And 
Um, it is a safety issue because obviously your spinning blade is right there and that is exposed without that cover. We do not have that cover, but we have already checked and those covers are readily available online um, without issue. So um, the second is this is the uh, knob that you uh, loosen and tighten to take off the blade guard, which is right here for cleaning and whatnot service. Um, as you can see, a portion of the one end of that knob is missing. It does still tighten and loosen without issue, so not a problem. So we just wanted to point those two items out to you. Um, now I'm gonna set this down really quick. We're gonna plug this in so that you can see that the old slicer turns like it's supposed to. Nice and quiet. Um, nice and solid blades in good condition um, it is bouncing a little bit and that's because of the table we've got it sitting on doesn't have a lot of support underneath this slicer which is extremely heavy so um, but anyways that's it again um, we do recommend a complete cleaning and a service before you um, start utilizing these pieces of equipment but uh, um, we guarantee that you're getting something that's got all the good bones there and is in uh, good working order and just needs a basic cleaning and a service. So that's it. Um, one video for both pieces of equipment. Uh, of course, these are being listed separately, so please keep that in mind. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to get a hold of us. Um, we appreciate you looking and hopefully buying. So thanks.